Okay, so just first up, this is a rating summary of the film, not a review as such, although I will give you my thoughts on the film at the end. And I loved it. I really, really loved it. So in terms of the rating summary, this film has been rated PG-13 in the States. And oh, man, I, I really don't get why. I mean, I certainly wouldn't be taking my 13 year old to see this film anytime soon, even though I really, really did enjoy it. So the main thing that the film has been rated for is violence. So let's start with that. Now, being a horror film, yeah, you expect there's going to be scares and there's going to be jumps and, and violence. But interestingly, I wouldn't really call this so much a violent film as more than more than a film that has violent or disturbing or creepy images. It's the images that you see which are a little bit more shocking and creepy and will make you cringe rather than actual violence. So in terms of actual violence, a few things do happen. So someone is stabbed, you don't actually see the knife going into them but you know that that's happened. Uh, you see someone hung uh, by a noose and you see a few little other things like you see a young girl being possessed by a demon and it's actually already in the trailer so you've probably already seen it so when the girl is sort of taken possession of it's it's you know a bit of a violent scene there where this ghoulish shadowy figure rams his sort of fist or uh, an arm down this girl's throat so you know they're, they're kind of shocking images so that's probably the most violent stuff the other thing you know that would put in the violent category is that there are scenes where people's mouths are sealed or stitched up. Now the sealing one is quite well done where the skin of this girl's mouth seems to go all waxy and melt away and then the skin molds together. Again this is already in the trailer so you might have already seen that. And there's another scene where there is some suturing. So you see the needle, the suture and the thread. You don't actually see the suturing happen, but you do see the blood on the needle each time the needle is raised. And then you see the result, the, the stitched um, person afterwards. But there's no blood on the person, you just see the stitching uh, on them. So, you know, that's where I guess we'd get into more the gore section. But that's sort of kind of it. I mean, apart from people being chased and terrorized, then that's the most of the violence. It's the scary images. And starting with Lulu Wilson, who plays Doris in this film. And I mean, oh my goodness. I mean, she is creepy AF. I don't think you can get a more creepy child than this girl. She does an amazing job of creeping the hell out of you. So she's definitely the main standout thing of this film, which makes it so wonderful. So she's very creepy. So she does these little kind of weird things which, which make your skin crawl and it's really quite fun. But you know, that's about as much as I think I've got to say about the violence. Um, On to sex and nudity, there really isn't any. There's no sex scenes and there's no nudity in the film apart from these shadowy uh, figures that you see, which you know, they're certainly not clothed, but you don't see any genitals or anything like that. Um, while there's no sex scene, there is a bit of flirting between two teenagers and there's a, a brief kissing scene between them. But again, that's it. Alcohol and drugs. Likewise, you do see a couple drinking a glass of wine um, at dinner and you see some kids and teenagers who get together and they're drinking out of coffee cups. But you, you know, it, it isn't really explained what they're drinking, but you know, you know that it's probably alcoholic and um, let's just say it's spirits. And Finally, language, profanity. There, there isn't a whole lot of bad language either. So the word asshole is used once. Um, I think crap is said once and bitch are the only things. And again, that's only said once in the whole film. So there's no F words or S words or you know any particularly explicit language uh, throughout the film either. So in that, in that sense, it's actually quite clean, if you like, but it's just the creepiness. So how scary is it? Yeah, it's really scary, but in a really fun way. What I loved about this film is that it's very much like the old Hammer Horrors where some of the stuff is just so badly staged, intentionally badly staged, that it's funny and it's engaging. And it's just so amusing to watch. Then there's other things where there are, there are other times where there are those jump scares and those fright scares where the loud noises and loud bangs which make you jump out of your seat or you just see things which just aren't quite right. And that, you know, makes it fun again. There's some very, very funny, genuinely funny moments in the film as well. So you will be laughing out loud in between the parts when you'll be cringing and, and sort of grabbing onto your partner's shoulder or the person next to you you might not have met yet. There's great tone in this film. It's self-aware and it's funny, but at the same time, there are genuine well-earned scares. So it has that cleverness. So when it's being silly, it knows it's being silly and you, you 
go along for that ride quite willingly. When it's being scary, you get completely sucked in. So, but one thing I do want to add, like back to sort of the violence and stuff, there are references to World War II concentration camps and um, people who had, you know, human experiments and Dr. Death, you know, the evil doctors and that sort of stuff. So that's another little thing which might be worth mentioning. But here's where it all sort of balances out because it is quite funny and then you get really dark themes like that. And in between it all, it all kind of works, it all gels together. So personally, I really, really enjoyed this film. I had such a great time in it and I really do hope you go and see it. This is my pick of the Halloween films this year. If you do go and check it out, please leave me a comment below. I'd like to know what you think and if you enjoyed it as much as I did. If you'd like a more detailed breakdown of the content in the film, then check out the website, which is cinemum.net.